let's let's talk about Clemson because they did yeah. look like they were supposed to all year. It's something you I know, wouldn't go that far. Well, they looked. I mean, it was a top fifteen team. Let's put it that I way. Think so it they was, played at that level. I think it was more Notre Dame just crapped the bed. And that's a little bit of it, yeah. Uh, but but hats off to Clemson though because yeah. they came in without their. They came in without their starting running back. They top, came in one of their top overall playmakers. Right. They came in four and four. Season's not going how you got fans calling out to coaches. You know, so it's not only a game clock problem here this season. You I got still, Clemson fans. I think Tyler from Spartanburg was a plan. I, I think that was, <laughs> yeah. I think that was planned. You you still got people that are out on Dabo yeah. right now, um, even with the win. But um, hats off to them. Thirty-one to twenty-three victory over Notre Dame. I didn't see that you know coming. I thought yeah. Notre Dame was. You know, the better team for sure. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, playing in Death Valley is, is always tough, but I still thought Notre Dame was going to come out with this this victory. But um, Clemson's offense still yeah, isn't yeah. great. There's a reason, Moffa had a great game. There's a reason why the line was so tight coming into yesterday. Yeah. Um, Notre Dame's been kind of playing with house money with their offense. They Outside their first couple of games, their offense just kind of sputtered, and Clemson still has an elite defense. Right. Um, you know, look at yesterday. Notre Dame got in the red zone several times, at least three times, and instead of scoring, they got they had to settle for field goals. Yeah, he had a costly pick six, uh, three turnovers, and Clemson Clemson capitalized right. off the turnovers, pick six, and that's what you have to do sometimes when your offense just, or even if you're just not a good team, you and you know I kind of will relate to this with the Gamecocks, but. You got to find different ways to win, and offense outside of Phil Moffa still wasn't that great. Right, uh, but you know, hats off to Dabo. He's the winningest coach in Clemson history now. Uh, That's surprising. W. It's not surprising. I th it just surprised me that it took him this many years to get there. It just feels like he's been there so long. Yeah, and they've put up so many ten plus win seasons, mm -hmm. national championships, and everything else. It just seems like he would have eclipsed that number. Before now, yeah, I didn't realize it was. I guess Tom, who was it? Tommy Bowden was the all time. I don't think so. Let's maybe it was see. somebody from the. Maybe it was somebody from that eighty one team that they held on to for years and years and years. Yeah, people that weren't even born in eighty one that wanted to boast about an eighty one championship. Hold on. Uh, but while you're looking that up, I think, I think Will Shipley's been holding Moffa back. Because Moffa, we thought that he was just the power back, you know, just to come in and get the tough yards, but he was breaking off some explosive runs yesterday yeah. and some big time runs and he definitely has some speed. I mean he was he replaced he, he was he, running past guy. I mean he looked like he he could easily be the starting running back for yeah. Clemson. Uh he Cle Dabo had his hundred and sixty sixth hundred and sixty sixth win and he took over or took the place of uh Frank Howard. Okay. Yeah. Legendary so fifty four year old he, long time record. Yeah, stood for fifty four years. Good gosh. Yeah. Uh but back to Moffa, I mean, 36 rushing attempts, 186 yeah. yards and two touchdowns. He definitely, you know, when he was finally given the opportunity to be the guy, yeah. he took the bull by the horns and he showed that he could be the guy. I'm not sure if he I'm, – I'm assuming he still has some eligibility left moving forward if mm -hmm. he wanted to come back and, and be that guy because um, I'm pretty sure Will Shipley's gone after this year. I don't know, man. I think this obviously gets an NFL talk. I just think with NIO era – and for running backs, in a running yeah. back position, yeah. there's just not a teams don't want to pay running backs anymore in the NFL. It's just that one of those positions. Yeah, it's just one of those positions that kind of is dying out with the big contracts. And like you said, NIL, he could probably make the most money he can make yeah. right now before you go and make only what they're going to give you. Yeah, and I and I think another thing is is Clemson's offensive line played really well yesterday. Yeah, blocked really well, and I mean credit to them because Notre Dame is a Dang good defensive football team. Right. Um, I, I, you know, this may just be a philosophical thing, but I think when you have that one back, that is your it back, and you're not constantly rotating two different types of running backs, it right. kind of helps. And it, I, obviously it helped yesterday because, like I said, I think going into yesterday, Notre Dame's defense was averaging, allowing uh, over 121 yards per game. I mean – Moffa broke that by himself. Yeah. I mean, Moffa just had an amazing game because, like you said, outside of him, Clubnick was 13 for 26, 109 yards. I mean, that's – Yeah. That's that, that's really nothing. I mean, he didn't contribute a whole lot as, yeah. as far as yardage. I mean, 
But, you know, at the end of the day, they get a win. It was a huge victory for them. Yep. They beat a top 15 team. Mm -hmm. They obviously have pretty much solidified themselves now to go to a bowl game this year. Not necessarily. Not necessarily, but, I mean, they got Georgia Tech this week. They should win that one. Georgia Tech's 5-4, and too. Georgia Tech's not going to be a slouch. (laughs) They're not going to be a slouch, but um, Clemson definitely – but then again, Clemson didn't show me anything to say, hey, they're just a they dominant team again. They have on a consistent basis where you can say that about right. them. And, you know, it's obviously a step in the right direction. But this it's not like we learned anything new about Clemson yesterday. Yeah. If anything, you learn more about Notre Dame right. than Clemson. Yeah, I agree. 